We met playing kickball. I had just moved to San Francisco about a week before and a mutual friend had convinced me to join a team. Nick was on the team and I didn't really chat with him too much the first week. He thought I had a boyfriend, but by the end of the first night at the bar after kickball, he was informed that I didn't have a boyfriend. So the next week after the game, we spent the whole evening chatting and we actually both realized that we had an Idaho connection and that was how we ended up getting into a conversation that night. I said I love you probably about three months after I met Rachel, which was quick, especially for her. So I ended up being the only one saying I love you for about two or three months after that, which took a little bit of, a little bit of fortitude, but um, I meant it. So I had no problem continuing to say it until she finally said it a couple of months later. So Rachel was a little slower on the draw, but we both fell deep. Love is more than just sort of that surface level excitement. It's really having someone who's a partner, who's by your side through the good parts and bad parts, and being just really comfortable in the most natural version of yourself with someone. And that's how I knew that I was really in love with Nick, was that I didn't have to pretend to be any other version of myself than just what came out naturally. Love to me is a choice. It's a decision that you make every day. So love is what we know we've got, what we've built, that foundation that we can always lean on, but always choose to go back to. It's love the choice. It's love the rest of our lives together. It's love to act. I can't think of a more amazing group of people, the most important people in our lives to be celebrating this with. In the venue, the, the lake, it's beautiful. Rachel's been amazing. So those moments that we've gotten to share together, I'm gonna to remember them forever. But to answer your question, what was I looking forward to most this weekend? That's getting to marry the girl that I knew from day one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with and just making it official in front of the family and friends that are closest to us. By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Online Church, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is the greatest honor of my life to be the first to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Nick and Rachel Gilly. I don't know when you're watching this, if it's tomorrow, if it's five years from now, or if it's 50 years from now. Uh, I love you. Always will.